What is the perfect female body? A lot of women seem to have no idea. So let's research it. The perfect female body according to women. First of all, lose the goddamn heels. Secondly, you can afford to gain some weight. Then there's the perfect female body according to men, which is slightly more accurate. And I appreciate it more as she looks a little heavier. These are the perfect female bodies in different countries. Yeah, they all look pretty decent. Only Venezuela, what's up with your football player's shoulders? Why are they up so high? To me, it looks like BMI 17.5 and 22 are pretty perfect. Well, that's just my humble opinion. This is apparently China's preference. So basically a little boy's body. Now, Mexico makes a buttload of sense. Way back in the day, some women were expected to wear corsets. Basically what a lot of men want even today is that hourglass shape. Part of the reason for that is it makes you look more different than boys. Kind of hilarious because once upon a time, looking boyish was actually N. On the left is what women think is the perfect body, and the right is what men think is. So women went for bigger boobs, and men went for bigger everywhere else. You know why that is, ladies? Because most men, regardless of their gender, prefer proportion in other people. They want to see a woman's tit size match her butt size. You know that flat belly you're desperate to get? You're wasting your time. I'm not interested in a flat belly. And as you can see here, a lot of other guys aren't either. A little bit of tummy's a good thing. Out of all these body types, guess which is the most desirable? Well, obviously there's room for debate. But in a lot of cases, what's most important is that your hips are noticeable. If your shoulders stick out really far and you have almost no hips, well, blunt honest time, you basically look like a dude. Because that is exactly how men are commonly built. Speaking of built like a man, you notice how you can't really distinguish your hips? Kind of all blended together. Yeah, not exactly what a lot of guys are going for. His shoulders are this wide, yet his hips are this wide. Mind you, it's okay to have wider shoulders than your hips. But the key thing that distinguishes the difference between you and men is that after the widened shoulders, you don't just go straight down like a man. A person's transition to a more womanly figure normally happens after puberty. If you read this article about hips, you'll find even if your hips aren't very womanly right now, your hips will very likely continue growing until you're 70. So like I said, give it time. When you type in perfect female body, bodies like these show up. Notice none of these girls have a tummy. Hard in the language, but that's what I call bullshit. Yet another woman who looks like she's on her deathbed. Come on, people. I went back to 1950 to find a body I consider desirable. This woman looks fantastic. And these women too. You see how goddamn healthy they look? This is another great target. Marilyn Monroe. Classic example of a woman who's well fed, but also looks great at the same time. And just like that, we found it. The disgusting thing about this is in order to find this image, I had to type in plus beautiful model. But is this woman here even considered plus size? Or this woman. Her body type is far more desirable than any of those super skinny models. Once again, if you're looking for a healthy body weight, it's right here. And here's our conclusion. You see how the swimsuit fits her? The way you can see a little bit of body fat around her bikini bottom. You can also see your body curve inwards before her hips. This is a very healthy weight. Mind you, they probably photoshopped her belly a little bit, which is disappointing. But now you know the perfect female body. But if your body doesn't match that, so long as you're healthy, you eat healthy, and you're happy, there should be absolutely no problem.